Today we are going to learn the verb have and has in Urdu with abstract nouns. Hello, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Sara and on this channel I teach Urdu as a second language. I've created almost 100 videos or more than 100 videos on Urdu grammar, teaching Urdu through movies, songs, etc. I've arranged them into different playlists. If you want to take a private lesson, I teach on these platforms. So today we're going to learn Urdu verb have and has. The irony is Urdu does not have the verb have and has. This is the part three of this series and the previous two videos are right here or I will link them in the description box as well. Have and has does not exist in Urdu and Hindi. So we use one post position with relationships like I have a brother, I have two kids, I have a sister, I have an aunt and a different post position with possessions or things that you have like I have a nice bicycle. The third one that we are going to learn today is the post position ko with the subject and that ko is used with abstract nouns. An abstract noun is something not tangible like love or freedom or pain etc so let me give you some examples of abstract nouns so for example love in urdu is muhabbat pyar this is an abstract noun azadi freedom dard which is pain it can also be used with illnesses and ailments like cough or flu or fever cough is Khasi, flu is nazla, fever is bukhar, right? So now the post position will come with the subject. For example, I have cough. So me ko, me ko means I have. Now me will change into muj when it is attached with ko. So, mujko is I have. Mujko. Mujko khasi hai. Mujko khasi hai. Now, there's another form of mujko which is mujhe. Mujhe khasi hai. Both have the same meaning. I guess mujhe is much more colloquial. Mujhe nazla hai. I have flu. So, mujhe because it's a post position it's not coming in the end of the sentence it's coming with the subject verbs in urdu and hindi come in the end of the sentence but here it's a post position so it will be attached with the subject mujhe azadi hai i have freedom mujhe mohabbat hai i have love mujhe mohabbat hai i have love mujhe mohabbat hai mujhe tumse mohabbat hai I love you. Mujhe tumse mohabbat hai. I have love for you. If you literally translate it. Mujhe tumse mohabbat hai. I have love for you. Mujhe zarurat hai. I have a necessity. Zarurat is a necessity. It's again an abstract noun. Zarurat. Mujhe zarurat hai. Mujhe zarurat hai. Mujhe paiso ki zarurat hai. I have a need of money. मुझे पैसों की जरूरत है मुझे कपड़ों की जरूरत है what if you're talking about someone else उसको means he has a need of something उसको पैसों की जरूरत है उसको पैसों की जरूरत है और let's talk और let's say a name Catherine Catherine को Catherine has a need of money Catherine को पैसों की Zarurat hai. Peso is an oblique form of the word pesa, which is money. So, peso is an oblique form of the noun. Catherine ko peso ki zarurat hai. Mujhe kaam hai. I have work. Mujhe kaam hai. So, now this concludes our series on have and has. And I have a little challenge for you. So let me put some sentences here and you can translate them in the comment section and I will check it out. 
if you have learned something from this video subscribe to this channel because i post videos on every friday if you want to get a pdf file you can become a patreon it's learn urdu with sara on patreon.com i'll see you later have a good day and goodbye